PT on deck again. Welcome back to the Forgotten City. Again, spoiler warnings. There is a lot of plot twists, a lot of discoveries uh, to be explored in this game. So continue watching at your own risk. Spoiler warnings again. So we left off with solving a few leads here and there. We figured out how to save Yulia by stealing a bottle, which means we had a reset time. And we saved the uh, Centilicas? since I forget her name. Sentius' daughter, one of his daughters. We saved her secret lover somehow uh, by essentially saving Yulia first and then going to rush to save him. And we managed to kill the assassin, which didn't trigger the golden rule, but gave us a bow. And big spoilers, we found out we were talking to Sharon, 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 the guide to the underworld. And we originally thought her name was Karen, but it was a hooded figure who picked us up from the river and led us to the underworld. So there's all these big revelations, a lot of things we've learned, and I'm trying to remember where we left off now, trying to wrap up and conclude all these leads we have, try to save everybody we can. Oh uh, yeah, we were back in the bathhouse and I saved right outside of it, I think we concluded our business there. And we are Pandora's box. Press my television, I know her secret. I'll be a way off her shoulders. Uh, wait, what was her secret? Let me figure out which one to do. So we, need, we know this is the main objective here to find these plaques. Let's see. And then when we have those four flags, we can get out of here, right? Yep. But we also need to figure out... The paradox. And the golden rule. I'm trying to figure out which ones we should do. Uh... Okay, we need to go to the cisterns, so... How do we do this guide again? I don't remember how to trigger this. The items on him. Salve! I'm just trying to figure out where to go. Be careful who you trust. Figure out Shnavia. Figure out who's threatening. Ask Fabia. Okay, let's ask Fabia then. Excuse me. You, you took care of him. He had a tragic accident in that shrine. An accident. So, it's over. Oh, God. That's such a relief. I really thought we were all going to die. I... I do have a question, though. That shrine, the one I was going to hide in, did you... know it was going to collapse? Oh, shoot. No! Really? Then... how? Oh, I see. Oh, I should probably keep my big mouth shut then. Sorry. I promise, nobody else will ever know what you did. But I know. That was really clever. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Oh, speaking you, of which, Fabia. welcome. I'm Fabia. Sorry I was a bit frantic before. Need anything? 
What's your story? <laughs> There's not much to tell. I mostly just bake bread and try to help out where I can. How did you end up here? I suppose it all started about eight months ago. I was living in Rome with my family when I got sick. Terrible timing. My pa had just arranged a husband for me. A fisherman's son. I was about to meet him for the first time when I came down with an awful fever. I spent the next week in bed. Pa paid priests to make offerings to Asclepius, a white rooster, then a goat. But nothing worked. In the end, they decided I'd do better outside the city. Clean air in the countryside would do me good, they said. But after about a day in a carriage on the Appian Way, I was getting worse, not better. I remember closing my eyes for a bit, and I guess I must have fell asleep, because when I opened them again, I was in a forest by a river. I suppose the driver took off with his fee and left me for dead. Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't have wanted to catch what I had either. Anyway, I went searching for help, stumbled across the trapdoor temple, and here I am. Uh, fair enough. Do you, uh, what do you know about the Golden Rule? Oh, I try not to worry about it. I mean, if people are nice to each other, we won't have anything to worry about, will we? You know what? I like your optimism. Thanks. And I like your teeth. They're so white. And your clothes. Oh, I bet my friend Georgius would like to get a look at you. And I'm sure he'd love to chatter about the golden rule with you too. He'll be just across the forum in his shop. So, any idea who's threatening Virgil? Mm, terrible shame, that is. Maybe this will help. Late last night, I was cleaning my oven when I heard some noises outside. The forum's usually dead quiet at that hour, so I came out to see what was going on. To be honest, I thought maybe poor old Dooley had got out of his cell and was snooping around again. So I put my head out and saw someone in front of Virgil's shop. I couldn't tell who. It was too dark. I called out to them, but they just turned and ran off without a word. All I remember is they ran past a lit torch and the light glinted off something metallic. Armour, I think. So I suppose it could only be one of three people. Horatius, Domitius or Rufius. I hope that helps. Thanks, that does help. I'll be going now. Or do you happen to know a way out of what? here? You've been here a few moments and you're desperate to get out already? Why not give the place a chance before you try to leave? Good people here. Galerius works hard on the farm so I can put food on our tables. And Lucretia tries to keep us healthy. My friend Georgius is always mending our clothes. And Virgil makes sure these old walls don't fall down around us. Well, he... He does his best. I'm just saying, there are worse places you could live out your days. Uh, I don't belong here. Well, I can tell from your funny accent you're not from around here, but that doesn't mean you don't belong, does it? You know, I'll be going right. now. Thanks again for taking care of our problem. I won't forget it. You there! I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but notice that fine bow you're carrying. No idea how you managed to get your hands on it, especially in the light of our dear old magistrate's ban, but I'm impressed. And before you ask, no, I wouldn't dream of trying to buy it from you. I have no use for a wooden bow myself. But to propose a joint business venture of sorts. Uh. Yeah, not You're interested. not interested in amassing riches beyond imagining. Are you sure? <sighs> All right, I'll bite. Tell me more. Tell me, do you have any idea how people here end up as golden statues? Statues come to life and fire golden bows, air bows, arrows at them. And here I was thinking I was the only one to figure it out. In any case. Supposedly, one or two of those arrows is enough to turn a full-grown man into gold. Now, of course, that is a travesty. A terrible, horrible waste of human life, which has to be stopped. And yet, on the other hand, 
I can't help but think of a tale told by that Greek fella Aesop, the goose that laid the golden egg. With the ability to transmute organic matter into gold, one could create infinite wealth. Use your imagination. Golden animals, insects, trees and plants. The Midas touch without the drawbacks. We are talking riches beyond imagining. And even if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, half of infinite wealth is still infinite. Interesting. Uh, I don't know how to respond to this. You know what? I'm interested. Excellent. So the first question is, how do we get our hands on one of those golden bows? Now, I have a plan. But first, tell me, are you familiar with the story of the goddess Diana? Not really. No problem. Allow me to explain. Diana is our goddess of the hunt, the moon, and the underworld, depending on who you ask. The one thing priests and poets agree on is that she carried with her a golden bow and a quiver of golden arrows. And it just so happens that there is a shrine of Diana in this very forum with a prominent statue of the goddess herself. And would you like to guess what she's holding in her hand? A golden bow? Precisely. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent in that temple staring at it, trying to figure out how to retrieve it without breaking you know what. But you want me to steal oh, it? Oh, gods, no. If you tried that, we'd all be dead within moments, I'm sure. No, here's what I propose. You give your bow to me, I cover it in a thin layer of gold leaf, and we create a replica of a golden bow. Then you enter the shrine, extinguish the braziers, and under cover of darkness, swap out the fake for the original. It's not theft exactly, it's more of a, a trade. But make no mistake, this is a dangerous path, and there's no way of knowing where it will lead. But in my experience, all the best adventures begin with a risky first step. Now, you must have questions. Ask away. Why can't I just take because it? Because the gods would see you, of course. Hence, my proposal. Alright, why can't you do it yourself? I'm more of an ideas man. Whereas you're obviously the more resourceful and heroic type. I have complete confidence in you. But isn't this extremely dangerous? Extremely dangerous. When Prometheus stole fire from the gods and became a hero to all mankind, do you think he was worried about the danger? You know what? Fair point. With all the questions I so, had. Are you in, partner? Wait, if you don't like action or horror elements, feel free to decline. I'll do it. Wonderful. Now, if you'll hand over your bow, I can get started applying a layer of gold leaf. This is a quality weapon. Now, bear with me for a moment. And here we are, a gold leaf bow. Damn. Now, I've gone and unlocked the Shrine of Diana for you, so as quick as you can, head on inside. It's just at the end of the street on the left. May the gods not watch over you. Okay, we're gonna hard save this. Just in case I muck this up. Okay, where? Into the street to my left. Hard save again. Oh. Is that you, partner? Do you have the bow? Yeah, I have it. Wonderful. Just go ahead and slide it under the door for me and I'll unlock it for you. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. And now, here we are. With 
me out here, and you in there. Until you give me my bow. How's this not against the girl? He's split the riches between the two of us. <laughs> no, technically, I never said that. I said, if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, infinite wealth is still infinite. It's hardly my fault if you can't tell the difference between a hypothetical and a promise now, is it? Oh, I do love a good loophole. Not a very effective you know, I'm gonna kill you. threat, is it? See, your first problem is, you're in there, and I'm out here. Your second problem is, the golden rule. What are you gonna do? Kill us all? It's an empty threat. The bow, now. And don't even think about giving me the fake one. I'll recognize my own handiwork. You know what, even if I gave it to you, you'd probably just leave me in here. Forget it. I would reconsider my position quickly if I were you. I'm not sure if you noticed, but you're stuck in there with a hornet's nest, and they can be rather aggressive toward intruders. You know, some say it takes 27 hornet stings to kill a man, but I always wondered how anyone could have known that. Let's find out if they were right, shall we? How do I escape here? I don't know how to escape. A bit frustrating. Because it turns into gold. What the hell hit me? Give me that, thank you. This is exciting, I don't know where I am. Twelve. Thank you very much. How much money do I have? Hang on. Oh, I got grand. What about the algae? Oh, I can shoot that now. What? Okay. This is exciting. Got new abilities and stuff now. Take a look at the scroll nearby. My beloved Galatea, I write this so that one day, when we're finally together, you will understand what I've done and why I had to do it. The others will call me mad or a monster. But I don't care what they think. Everything I'm doing here, I'm doing for you. I'll start at the beginning. Soon after my arrival here, as I walked down a corridor lined with golden statues, I thought I heard a whisper behind me. A rasp of air, as if vocal cords of metal strained to say a word or two. I tried to dismiss the idea. Tried to concentrate on my work as the city's medic, but that tortured whisper haunted me. Weeks later, in the hallway to the bar, I heard it again and found myself drawn to the statue of a Roman woman wearing a stola. Her face was contorted with anguish and fear, and disturbingly, it was as if she was looking right at me. As I walked past her, I heard that strained whisper again, and turning back, I discovered that even though I had moved, she was still looking right into my soul. That was when it dawned on me. This was no statue. This was a woman trapped within that golden prison. Naturally, I told the others, but when I could not reproduce the results of my experiment, they would not believe me. But from that moment on, 
I knew the full horror of this place. Immobilized within these statues are living human beings. It was that day, my love, that my heart broke. Oh. I just have to like, have you hit the right position? Trust myself making this jump? No. Oh my gosh. Okay, up. And then. Ah. Let me up, damn it. Please? How do I get up? Uh. That. Oh, I missed. Oh, okay. Now let me up here. Son of a gun, please. Thank you. sure where we are. I'm kind of all turned around here. So does that mean I can... I probably just need to stack up arrows then so I can explore more. Um, I think it's still loading. It looks like the texture just popped in on the right there. here I I think okay you hostile Freeze. Sorry. Anyone else here hostile? Sorry. Freeze again. You're not supposed to be here. Oh crap, baskets. Stop, please. Okay, that's kind of funny. Hang on, hang on. Hey, catch! Ca catch this! Okay, I thought I could... Oh! Gar... Garum? Fishy... Condiment. 
Oh, fish sauce. I guess I can shoot that, aren't I? That's a horrible idea. I guess that is the only idea. Hang on. Yeah, that's the only way to go. Okay. Two arrows. Alright. I think I collected all those arrows earlier. Touching what gets changed <laughs> turns into gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess they're not coming back. Arrows. Perfect. I see. I would like more arrows, please. I get it. Okay, I got it. Bonk. You know what? Don't bonk. Skyward my way up here. Okay, hang on, I am stuck. There, dang it. Oh, this is embarrassing. Okay. Am I not supposed to go this way? I feel like I'm missing something. Come on! That's, I hate that. I really hate that. Oh. 
Can I just start like shooting willy nilly now, or am I gonna get in trouble for that? Where the hell am I? Did the town get ransacked when I was gone? Wait. No, 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 I'm still in the I'm still in the palace. Why won't it stop? <laughs> Rest. What? What? Hang on, I can't shoot. Damn it. What's that point blank shot? That's embarrassing. Hopefully that makes it stop. Yep. And strike. <laughs> okay, it's kind of sadistic that I left at that. Hello? Hey. Money, or I guess I don't need money. Can I get more arrows? Looks like I got some rack. I mean, use to hold down golden statues and peel the golden layer from. Oh, God! I didn't need to know that. My beloved Galatea, after I learned the terrible truth about the golden statues, I wandered the city as if in a nightmare. What must life be like for these poor souls, entombed in gold, but kept alive somehow? Trapped in their own personal Tartarus, consigned to eternal torment, too horrific for any sane mind to comprehend. I tried to offer them what small mercies I could. I began to talk to them, to keep them company. I'd imagine backstories for them, give them names, and tell them of the world, of the histories and stories I'd learned as a child. As the others became more concerned by my charity, I sought solitude from them, preferring the company of my tormented charges. Discovering a way to leave the abandoned palace, I began to spend my days walking its halls and sharing with its occupants ancient tales my mind turning to those of Apollo and Daphne, Perseus and Medusa, and Pygmalion and Galatea. Pygmalion, the sculptor, who fell in love with a beautiful statue, and who, praying to Aphrodite for aid, discovered that his beloved Galatea had come to life. It was then that I heard you whisper to me, Galatea. Forgive me. I know that is the only yep. thing. Just one I have to do is to kill you. Damn it. But when I turn to look at you, I saw the most exquisite. I'm going to be so mad at myself. I could ever know. Make your face. I'm body blocked. I'm not going to look of haunting stuff. I need to make a new purpose to free you from your golden prison so that I might one day hear you speak. Excuse me. You just whisper your true name to me. So I gathered tools for the long and difficult task ahead, barred the doors to this place, and set to work.
okay, okay. I can't throw that. That was a little sketchy. Does that mean Navia has a golden bow then? Because how did she survive this long? Bonk. Please. Help us. Exit now. This be open? Nope. That's blocked off. I wonder why they're giving me money. What's the purpose of this now? My first charge was a Greek woman, who I called Iodami, after the Athenian turned to stone by Medusa. Drilling through the gold that encased her, I was vindicated by the discovery that beneath half an inch of gold, which is so rigid it must be some kind of alloy, was living flesh. Unfortunately, not this golden alloy seems to have fused in her skin, so removing it exposed the sinew and muscle beneath, and appeared to cause her great pain. At first, I braced myself, expecting that inflicting such pain would break the golden rule, and yet, somehow, it did not. It seems whichever god is responsible for imprisoning these poor souls does not care about their suffering at all. They are forsaken. Undeterred, I pressed on, working late into the night, attempting to remove the golden layer that encased her as quickly as I could. Eventually, I was able to free most of her body, but when I released her from her restraint, I pressed her with the lunge from my throat, clawing at me with all her strength and those sharp metal talons. This was my thanks for trying to save her. Whatever possessed her ability to attack, she was clearly not a suitable subject for my experiment, and I was forced to lock her inside an isolated wing of the palace and bar the door. As I continued working on others, I could hear her flailing and launching herself at the other side endlessly. Hey. My other experiments have seen results. And after relocating a few Get out of times, here. Oh. most of the palace is now too dangerous to work in. Still, as much as my heart aches to know that you're suffering, I cannot risk to continue to you yet. 
Not until I have perfected a method that will bring you back to me, whole in both mind and body, and ensuring your humanity is preserved. Lord. I promise you this. Okay. One day we will be together. Even if I have to free oh, every last statue in this god's forsaken place. Oh, okay. Now I can look to this. I'm not gonna hear I'm not here to hurt you. Okay, a little perturbed. This isn't good. Navia! You can talk? Is that you, Pros Pr Prosser Pina? God damn it. Oh. You must be Navia. And you must be the wretched snake who broke into my palace and disturbed my experiments. And worst of all, look at what you made me do to her. This never would have happened if you just stayed away. You're going to pay for that. Uh, hmm. good luck with that. I think you can bring me down with your little wooden arrows before I jam this blade into your throat. Oh, I'm not going to kill you. Ah, uh, you know, it's not too late to walk away. Walk away? After everything you've done. This has nothing to do with me. Liar. I locked and barred the gate. I left a message warning you all to leave me alone. I just wanted to do my experiments in peace for her. And now look at her. You made me turn the most beautiful woman I've ever seen into this. Look at her. She's in agony. All I wanted was to spend my last moments with her. To see her beautiful face. To hear her speak freely, instead of in those cryptic whispers. But as soon as I began my work, she stopped whispering to me. And now I discover she started whispering to you instead. What's so special about you? It's not just the statue. A lot of them do it, but it's always the same voice. What do you mean, the same voice? Like someone else is whispering me to, through the statues. Mm. Yes. I remember when they used to whisper to me. They did sound similar. I just thought it was because all voices sound the same when they whisper. But now that I think about it, they were all benevolent and seemed to share a common knowledge. But if these bodies are mere conduits for that one voice, then... This body is nobody, and everything I've done here was... was... Wait, I see what you're doing. You're trying to steal her away from me. Were you planning to wait until I'd done all the hard work, then swoop in? Is that it? No, I swear. Liar! You tried to steal her away from me, and now look what you made me do. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't peel you, too. And if you're by accident, all I want to do is leave. What? What are you talking about? I got trapped in tunnels under the city and came up inside the what? palace. So you're saying you weren't coming for us? I never had any intention of hurting you. So I did all this. I ruined her. For nothing. What have I done? 
Oh God, I feel sick. I am. I can't bear the thought of her being like this. Yeah, that's this. your fault, Psycho. I'm in so much pain. It's the air coming into contact with her flesh. It's agonizing for them. But the only way to fix it will be to break the golden rule and let it run its course. At least that way she'd be golden again and we'd be together. All it would take is one little cut. Wait, I can undo this if you tell me the treatment for rheumatism. It's too late. There's nothing you can do. I have to do this. I'm sorry. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can cover her in gold again. What? How? This golden bow is a weapon that encases people in gold. Really? I, I'm not sure I believe you. But if you can undo this mess, I'll tell you what you need to know. But if you're lying to me, I'll break the golden rule and kill you. I'll encase you in gold before you even have a chance city. to kill me. Understood. All right, stand back. You did it. You took away her pain. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. I swear I will never harm her again. I swear it. I'll stay here to keep her company. But these poor souls, what can be done for them? I've tried everything I can. I fear the only one capable of releasing them properly is whichever god doomed them in the first place. In any case, I must honor our bargain. The treatment for rheumatism is willow bark. I believe there's a pot of it already in the Shrine of Apollo. Now, please leave. The door here leads out onto the palace balcony. You should be able to make your way down from there. Goodbye, Navy. Go. And never return. Rest in peace. I just can't talk to her anymore. So I guess we resolved the shrine incident. And I guess we were able to resolve the other incidences now. This is all like guessing though. So we should be able to get the history of Satilica. Because we were able to get up to the one place, right? With the bow. Mm. I guess it's just time to start exploring again and being able to shoot what we can. How do I get down from here? I, uh, hmm. Whoa. How do I whip out the bow? Hang on, how do I? Nope. No, that's not what I wanted. Nope, 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 nope. Ha! Like, this is in case I need to get back up here, right? I use this? Ah! Mm. That was cool! Okay, what was I doing? May Apollo keep you safe. Feeling alright? Figure out how to treat rheumatism. You made it into the palace. I'm impressed. How is Nevia? Uh, she's alive, but she just wants to be left alone. And the treatment is Willow Bark. Willow Bark. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. 
If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. I ought to finally shade Willowbar for medicinal purposes. Okay. Alright, I Thank can do that. Thank you. I'm really glad you arrived when you did. I'm That's going now. a shame. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. Where's that bastard? He'll kick his teeth in. Greetings and salutations. Let's just quick save, just in case. Because I feel like I'm going to lash out when I see that punk. How do I get down there again? <gasps> I'm blanking. Where do I go? I know there's a marker, but I'm trying to figure out how to get... There was something here that I remember seeing that we can shoot at. Where was it? Ah. So we gotta figure out how to get up there. Here, uh, nope, nope. I thought there was vines we could shoot at this way, right? each other. Ah, here we go. Put in carving. Some blue flesh, fish. Include all father of riches. The stone disc. Hmm. Some carving of a fish. Oh. Sucks to suck. I got their I got their staff. Oh, please let me go. Oh, well, we got one of the three plaques. At least we got one mystery solved. Water flows. What does that mean? I still don't understand that. Bloodless wander without flesh and bone. I find that punk that left locked me in there. Anything else I can climb? Hmm, guess not yet. This way. Galerius? Horatius? I'm guessing that Promethean fire's not for sale. How oh, can you be troubled uh, there? Hello there, partner. No I am. I'm, I'm glad you're here. I think there might have been some going to kill you. Uh, confusion about my little practical joke. From what I hear, you see, my plan was to give you a little anyway, fright. You know, like you two friends joking around in Saturnalia, and then, surprise, I'd yeah, open the door. But when I opened it, you were gone. What if there is something I can do? You're going to pay for what you did. There's no need for threats. 
waiting to be found. That's not a threat. So, yeah, well, I don't have to listen to this. Get lost. Try to relax. Get some rest. Tomorrow's a new day. Went mad now. I suppose you're right. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Is not evil. You know what? Uh, really wanted to make that man suffer. Just be happy I can't Sounds kill you. like you're torturing yourself. Leave that for the gods. Try to relax. Get some rest. Tomorrow's a new day. That was in use. that great temple up there. Watch right. your step. I bet he's worth a fortune. About your rheumatism. What business is that of yours? I figured out a treatment. Eat a pinch of this willow bark. You should feel better in no time. Willow bark? And this will work? Oh, thank God. Finally, some relief. This is what I've been praying for. Maybe God hasn't abandoned me after all. I don't Thank think you can say that out loud. I've been in a lot of pain lately. The rheumatism, these cursed statues always watching, and the crisis of faith. It was too much. Started messing with my head. <sighs> This is exactly what I needed to set it straight again. I owe you one. Do you know of a way out of here? No, I don't. I did hear a rumor that Aurelia, the tavern keeper, has been offering to sell a way out. But I barely have two sistershi to rub together. What do you think about the Golden Rule? Hmm. I'll tell you this much. I hate the fact that my survival depends on the common sense of other people. What do you mean? I mean all these people just bumble along like nothing's wrong. While we're one bad decision away from being wiped out. Like the last lot of people who lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. Whatever that is. And when it hits, it's everyone for themselves. You've been warned. What do you think is coming? I don't know. But did you ever get the feeling some of these statues are watching us when we're not looking? Like they're waiting for something. I don't like it. I think you're right. That doesn't help me. Sorry. Are you the one threatening Virgil? No idea what you're talking about. Fair enough. I'll be going See now. You around. Salve. What is it, citizen? You know, way out of here. I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune. What do you think about the Well, world? as I always say, it's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. If you, because you're, it's. Br Let's see. Uh, are you saying you're in favor of What's it? What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms, and those men. As with the Golden Rule. As Seneca the. But to. If you Let's like. something else. Are you the one threatening what? Virgil? Absolutely not. I know someone's been threatening him, and I'm not happy about it. But I can assure you, it isn't me. Fair enough. We're going now. Alright. I love your clothes. 
Citizen, don't you just love springtime? Not the buyer beware. Back again. I'm the best behavior I trust. Couldn't stay away, huh? Don't you just love springtime? All uh, right. Yeah, I'll just be See ya. Ixian turns. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. I figured it out. I know where we are. Say it. Speak its name. The underworld. Then it is true. I was right. You were. I thought... I thought I saw it, but when the rest of them could not, I kept thinking I must have gone insane. I had to tell myself it was true over and over again, until I wasn't sure if I was deceiving myself. I, I must apologize if my words seem cryptic. I'd found comfort in reciting the metamorphoses by how a great poet of it gives such an uncanny description of this place. I cannot help but wonder if he himself came here. Would you like to hear it? Sure. I will do my best to remember the relevant verse. There is a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. The sluggish Styx exhales vapor, and by that way, the shadows of the newly dead descend, entombed with full rites, and the ghosts of those, at last, given proper burial. The wide, thorny waste is cold and pallid, and the newly arrived shades are ignorant of the road that leads to the Stygian city where Black Dis has his cruel palace. As the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls, and is never too small for any populace, nor notices the crowds that come. There the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades imitating their previous lives, and still others incur punishment. I hope I have done it justice, and now we share a secret. It's as if you've lifted a great burden from my shoulders. Thank you, friend. I think I should rest. Let's put her mind at ease now. There we go. Now, I think we can solve this one. Let's go to the... Where is it? We have to go down there. Why is it so damn dark? Oh, it's night? Yeah, is there someone outside then, right? Virgil's case. Oh, where's Virgil? Where's his shop? Uh oh. Uh oh. Let us meet to elect our magistrate. Oh, I didn't do this fast enough. Oh, crap, baskets. Can you be faster? Can you be faster? Damn it, let me go there! Please, please! The... 
wasting time. Oh, crap. Crap, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Citizens, we have a quarate body of voters gathered here to elect the city's magistrate. The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and Marcus Maliolus Gerges. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. Start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Maliolus. Dacius. Maliolus. Galerius. I abstain. I'm just here to observe. Virgil. Maliolus. Fulpius. Sentius. Maliolus. Magistrate Maliolus. <sighs> I said, Hail Magistrate Maliolus. That's more like it. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. And now, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. No more shall you walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe, because the tyrant Sentius told you it was forbidden. For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth of the Golden Rule is no more. The Golden Rule is real, you idiot. For his attempt to deceive us all, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. What? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. His sentence? To fight for his life in gladiatorial combat against Demetrius. Here and now for your entertainment. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Wait, I exercise my right as a Vestal Priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, Priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Demetrius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. You'll doom us all. Lies! It is time the Golden Rule was exposed to what it is. A children's fable, exploited by a treacherous leader to instill fear in all of us. This is why he's in his gladiator gear. They've been planning this all along. Shut up, all of you. The Magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. What the the many shall suffer, 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 suffer for the sins of the one. So that means it is him then, right? Maybe I can go in here now. Oh god, I'm body blocked. Oh, don't body block me. Nothing happened yet. Nothing here happened yet, so... that. Run away now. Damn it. Because we're not getting any closer to unraveling this. What the hell happened? 
I thought he was innocent. He didn't. No one have fought yet. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and why you look like you've just taken on a gladiator and lost? I'm Joseph, and I need you to take care of some things urgently. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. You lose nine, but the creature can't help her without this stuff. Take something and go quickly. She's being agitated because of his rheumatism. If you give you this, it'll calm him down. Stop favorite entering the empty shrine. Um. Uh. I need you to stop Fabi. Uh, shoot. Yeah, do this. All right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. Uh, Rufy's becoming agitated. Poor guy. This. My uncle was a victim at rheumatism's altar, and he ended up killing himself. All right, got it. And, um, Yulia's dying, but Lucretia can't help her without this, uh, Sylphia. Take some of it and go quickly. Yulia? Oh, no. All right, I can do that. Yulia's about to throw himself off the Great Temple balcony, tell him Yulia will be fine, and give him the purse first 2,000 to pay off their debt. But how did you... All right, of course. I'll make sure this gets to him. That's it, now go as fast as you can. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Well, and with that, I think this is a good place to uh, end this chapter of The Forgotten City. Thank you for joining me, and hopefully you can join me for more as we continue The Forgotten City. PT out.